tayo on the way na ho tayo so, sa ating uh, destination sa ating pupuntahan Cornwall pag nakita nyo yung Cornwall ibig sabihin boundary na tayo ng uh, Quebec at saka yung Ontario Dito na tayo Mga kabayan uh, Alam nyo Itong pinuntahan natin Mga isla-isla yan Tubig na naman eh Kumbaga Sa atin meron tayong tinatawag na 100 islands ng Pangasinan Dito sa amin Meron naman tinatawag kami na 1000 island Yan Hmm yan Dito na kaya para maganda. Bakit <laughs> 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 mamasya dito? Takot na ba ako? Ayun, mamaya magkakampay-kampay ka diyan ako sa tubig. Ang ganda pala dito. Para ba nasa lasin lang yung pa-picture ta. Kelinga. Ngayon ni lolo ni tatay. Kakain muna kami, mag-almosal muna kami Sinabi ko na yan kanina Kasi Ito makabuka kami ng dalawang oras mahigit Nagutom Nagutom yung mga pasahero <laughs> Pero yung silang dalawa, hindi na rin sila kakain Oo. Hindi na mahalat ang butong <laughs> Ang okay, ganda, nakaapat ako Ay, cute Si kuya ha, si kuya si ay ang bagong gay sign may bambuhok ni kuya, hindi ko nakilala ako ah, yan ah nung walaw, nung napangalan nun oh, adi, okay lang ko, ay meron pa lang hindi halatang meron ay, hindi halatang meron hindi halatang meron sabi namin ba, un-un nawala ng galang kumain i-inoven niya yan eh tara, kain na, kain na tayo kain tayo bawal mahiya, wala akong hiya mga tanan na may ano kaya ayaw? Okay kayo! Nakal dapat kag! Okay kayo! Ano? Sa... Sa kabilang mundo? Diba ito sa Pangasinan? 100 islands? Diba may ganun? Oo, oo. Nakapunta kami doon nung ano? Nung ako ni Ben. Can we get those on Monday? Like I can get them on Monday on my way. Siya siya na maglalakas na ako Ba't eh wala silang ano Yung tali eh kung nagpreno siya Coming local event Brockley Ito na siya sabi namin sa inyo City of 1000 Island Sa atin pa rin ano 100 islands lang mas marami rito, 1,000 island eh. Sa atin, 100 island lang. <laughs> Pangasinan nyo, di ba? Oo. Oh. Yeah. Mamaya, hintay lang muna tayo ng ano, isasakyan natin cruise. Ang barkong manit. At sasakyan natin. Magkano kaya yon? Sir. May mga tao na hong nakapila rito At mamaya within 5 minutes Sasakit tayo dyan yan. Thank you sa aming mga friend Yun to yung mga naglibre sa amin Yung dalawang nakaputi na yan Ayaw ka sa na yan yan Nakaputi si Atihan Atang din nakaputi Yan naglibre sa amin Sa pagsakay sa 
Hindi pa daw si Shout out po sa lahat ng kamag-anak ko sa Pilipinas. <laughs> Mag-subscribe po kayo dito sa YouTube channel ni Paring Neil. <laughs> Tara. Sasakay na ho tayo. Nagtatawag na sila eh. Ano to? Maling. Tapos sa akin. <laughs> Tawag yun ito to the karayo. Malis yung barko Dito kami sa taas Yung iba nasa baba Eh nakakaw na kami sa pila Kaya sa taas kami Kaya na pa dito nga Dito ah Dito mali siya May barko Basnig May basnig ho dito Basnig for your cruise today of the world famous Thousand Islands. In just a few moments we'll be clear of the harbor where our journey will begin. But first, these short announcements about shipboard safety. Enjoy your cruise. Au nom du capitaine et de l'équipage, bienvenue à bord pour cette croisière parmi les fameuses mille îles. Au cours de la prochaine heure, nous vous invitons à vous détendre et à apprécier un petit coin de paradis sur ce majestueux Saint-Laurent. Dans quelques minutes, nous sortirons du port et notre voyage commencera. Mais tout d'abord, c'est quelques mots sur la sécurité à bord. Bonne croisière! At Thousand Islands and Seaway Cruises, your safety is of utmost importance. So we ask for your undivided attention for the following safety briefing. Operation of this vessel and its crew are governed in accordance with Transport Canada regulations. There are life jackets on board for a full complement of passengers and crew. The life jackets are located in the large white storage boxes that double as benches on the upper deck and in a small compartment under the wheelhouse on the lower level. The instructions for donning life jackets are posted throughout the vessel and we strongly recommend that you familiarize yourself with these directions. This vessel is also equipped with two large inflatable life rafts capable of carrying the entire complement of passengers and crew. The life rafts are located on the upper deck adjacent to either side of the wheelhouse top. In the unlikely event of an emergency, you'll be notified by the sounding of the ship's general alarm consisting of seven short rapid blasts followed by a prolonged blast on the ship's horn. Upon hearing the general alarm, passengers are requested to assemble at the muster station on the stern or upper deck of the vessel as designated by the captain over the ship's public address system. Don your life jackets with the assistance of the ship's crew and await further instructions. Due to the current COVID-19 pandemic, we respectfully request that all passengers respect social distancing protocols and wear a mask while inside. Please stay in your places with your group unless accessing the restrooms or canteen. Please do not congregate on the back deck. And upon our return to the dock, please remain seated until the crew directs you to the debarkation gate. Again, your safety is of utmost importance, and we appreciate passengers reporting any unsafe conditions to the ship's crew. 
Thank you for your attention and enjoy your cruise. Only licensed bar and canteen down on the lower level. From where you can purchase a variety of alcoholic and non-alcoholic beverages, in addition to some small snack items down there. From time to time, our ship's purser will come around to take your orders if you're in need of a little refreshment. Nevertheless, you are free to move throughout the boat as you wish. Down on the lower level, you'll also find the washroom facilities located adjacent to the canteen. One word of caution, if you are up and about moving throughout the boat, please remember to use the handrails when transiting the stairs, and please refrain from standing on the life jacket boxes or sitting on the rail. So our tour today will cover the eastern end of the Thousand Islands, which start here in Brockville with the three sister islands that we can now see over the bow and to the right of the boat. From here they extend a distance of 50 miles or 80 kilometers upstream to the two brother islands adjacent to the city of Kingston at the foot of Lake Ontario. Also during our cruise we'll be traveling in and out of the main shipping channel of the St. Lawrence Seaway, the longest freshwater shipping channel in the world. We recommend that you keep your cameras close at hand to capture memory of the scenery you'll encounter as we embark on our shoreline and seaway cruise. Closer to the waterfront, we notice many newer homes, however. Many of these newer homes built in the backyards of the stately mansions. You see with the increasing value of waterfront property, many of the original estate lots have been severed to permit the building of these new homes. A classic example of how the rich Now coming in and out of view high behind the tall trees to our left are two of Brockville's most steep. High behind the tall trees to our left are two of Brockville's most stately waterfront mansions known as Fulford Place and Thornton Cliff. Fulford Place in particular, the imposing limestone structure, is a 20,000 square foot Edwardian mansion built by George Taylor Fulford on the proceeds of his patent medicine empire. Dr. Williams' pink pills for pale people were said to cure just about anything that ailed you and they were marketed around the world. The fact of the matter was that these miracle pills were nothing more than sugar-coated iron supplements or placebo. So when they tightened up the Patent Medicine Act in Canada, George Fulford probably moved his operations across the river to Morristown, New York, and Fulford Place became his family's exclusive summer retreat. The Three Sister Islands, better known as the Gull Islands, are their home to as many as 20,000 in Delmonia. Admittedly, the gulls are considered a nuisance by many area residents, so much so that the city has made several attempts to remedy the situation. At first, they sent out men with dogs to camp on the islands in hopes that their presence would scare away the gulls. However, that plan failed when the men's tents collapsed under the weight of birds and excrement. Later on, they sent out families of raccoons to reside on the islands. The theory at least being that the raccoons would prey on the seagull eggs and thereby help control their population. They were originally inhabited by the Mississauga Indians, and there are traces of Indian life to be found here dating back more than 2,000 years. The Indians called the islands Manitowana, meaning Garden of the Great Spirit. We'll share a little of the Indian folklore with you a little later on in our voyage. In 1890, however, the Indians gave up the islands in favor of a cash settlement, and the government in turn sold the islands off. Initially, at least, the public showed little interest in buying them. However, the city of Brothville purchased 17 of the local islands, which in hindsight was a very wise move. Islanders here aren't really rubbing it. Privately owned islands. Many of the same amenities you do in your own homes. There's electricity and telephones, supplied by cables run over the riverbed. There's well, plumbing, okay. and in some of the denser okay. reaches of the islands, there's even postal delivery during the summer months. 
L'île orientale à notre gauche est un parfait exemple d'île appartenant à un particulier. À présent, les habitants des îles ont la belle vie par rapport à autrefois. En fait, ils disposent de la plupart des services que nous avons dans nos maisons, y compris l'électricité et le téléphone, qui est un par câble trivial, sans oublier l'eau et le réseau des goûts. Dans les endroits les plus peuplés, on livre même le courrier pendant les mois d'été. We enjoy one of the most publicly accessible waterfronts of all the communities along the Upper St. Lawrence River with five waterfront parks. In the distance to our right is the largest of these parks, St. Lawrence Park, aptly named after the river, a popular camping and picnic grounds, which includes a small beach area, all located within the city limits. Admittedly, five miles an hour might not sound like much, until you consider the fact that it takes a single drop of water more than a decade to work its way out of the Great Lakes from the head of Lake Superior to the Atlantic Ocean. Just a summer residence built in part of the signature Rose Granite Rock for a right here in the South Nile. À votre droite maintenant, on peut apercevoir un abri à bateau et le pavillon des gardiens d'une autre magnifique résidence, connue sous le nom de Kawasa. Cette demeure a été construite avec des pierres amenées directement au milieu. The Hillens were nearing extinction in this region back in the Eden Diger publication. William E. Browning, who donated one of his islands to the birds. Harvey Island. Given that name by sailors of old, as it was said that getting a boat through here was much like dreading the eye of a needle. Nous nous engagerons très bientôt dans le chenal le plus étroit de la croisière. Il porte bien son nom de Needle's Eye, le chat de l'aiguille en français. Ce nom lui a été donné par les marins qui affirment qu'il était aussi difficile de faire la traversée du chenal que d'enfiler une aiguille. And as we thread the eye of the needle now, you'll get a good close-up look at the exposed rose granite rock that make up the islands. This granite is in fact some of the oldest exposed rock in the world, even back more than 4.3 billion years. The islands are actually part of an ancient mountain range known as the Frontenac Island, that brings up the Canadian Shield, with the Adirondack Mountains. Uh, These mountain tops only became exposed again at the turn of the last ice age. Which the glaciers descended upon the land and scoured away most of the softer sedimentary rocks. Behind these harder clusters of threads. And as the glaciers retreated, the meltwater spilled over the sill of what is now Lake Ontario, winding its way through these mounds of granite and into the Atlantic Ocean. That's one of the Thousand Island jewels of the St. Paul. En passant par le nid de l'Aile, le chasse d'aiguille, vous pourrez voir de plus près la roche de granit exposée qui constitue les îles. Ce granit summer cottage community of Burma. Many of the original Victorian cottages remain and have been restored back to a period when this part of the river was accessible only by old river steamers. 
À notre gauche, on voit l'ancien secteur des cottages de thé de Fontaine. Tout bon nombre de cottages originaux demeurent ou ont été restaurés depuis l'époque où cette partie du fleuve n'était accessible que par bateau à vapeur. Ceci assurait un service régulier entre les petites localités des deux côtés du fleuve. The Indians tell of different stories surrounding the origin of the island. Legend speaks of two powerful gods, one good and the other evil, who argued fiercely over who would rule the Bible. The argument has been made to an earth shaken in the heart of the gods who saw two tempers brought from the face of the earth, which they hurled across the river at each other. During the ensuing battle, many principles of earth fell short of their target and landed in the river. Finally, the good god emerged triumphant, and the evil spirits were banished from the region forever. Then, under the enchanted spell, wars flourished on the thousand chunks of rugged rock that had fallen into the river. Le différent des trembler la terre. Lorsque les deux divinités se mettent à se lancer des mots trancheuses à pleine poche des deux côtés du Pendant cette bataille, plusieurs mots battent leur cible et attirent sur le Finalement, la divinité ayant triomphé, les esprits démoniaques sont chassés de la région à comme par enchantement, des bonnes luxuriantes se mettent à s'étendre sur les milliers de bottes tombées dans le fleuve. The location of the Brothel Yacht Club established on this site in 1972. The stone building that now serves as the clubhouse was originally a tannery as well, but in later years was home to the Sheriff Ringer Works, manufacturers of fine ringer washing machines. Ewell's Creek that closed out the side of the United Empire loyalist William Ewell the Cabin back in 1784 laying the foundation for the community that would fall. Then when the tayo luma bas, the pasong tayron. On peut voir les restes des premiers bâtiments du bord. Autrefois, plusieurs industries étaient installées lorsque le transport par eau jouait un rôle important dans l'économie. Mais ils abritent maintenant des installations récréatives, une petite marina et un yacht de Crossville. C'est l'eau, ça, c'est l'eau là. So we're going to make our way back into Tunnel Bay now and return to our dock on Blockhouse Island. Blockhouse Island is the right earth, I believe, when it was the site of a two-story bridge blockhouse built in 1830. To protect the community against the threat of the base by America, during periods of unrest in the wake of the War of 1812, Previously, it was known as Hospital Island because it served as a quarantine area for newcomers to Brockville during a terrible cholera epidemic that plagued the city. L'île Blockhouse fut ainsi nommée à cause d'un blockhouse que les Américains avaient construit en 1837 pour protéger la ville contre la menace d'invasion par les troupes américaines durant les différentes guerres qui ont suivi la guerre. Auparavant, la porte de l'hôpital qui a desservi dans zone de quarantaine pour de nombreux Et durant la terrible épidémie de choléra qui frappa la localité. Sous peu, mesdames et messieurs, nous arriverons à quai et j'aimerais vous remercier d'avoir été ici. Puan tahu sangatlah. Mama, mama bawa bapa aja sampai park mian. Ini pertanyaan nak ayat kau jenai. As we come in to dock, we'll ask if you could please vacate the front and rear decks of the boat and no, then clear the passageways to enable the crew to handle the morning. Otherwise, we ask that you please remain in the places until the vessel is safe no, no, no. and watch your steps as you disembark the boat. Once again, then, thanks for joining us for the Sea Fox. 
Well, folks, we hope you enjoyed your cruise today. We're about to return to our dock and secure the boat. I would ask that you remain in your places, and I will come escort you off the boat. Again, please remain in your places, and I will escort you off the boat. Thank you. Okay, we're going to get a little bit of So mga kabayan Tapos na naman ang ating pagalagala Ito pa uwi na ho kami At uh, gutom na Bali dadan lang tayo sa isang kainan Tatawag siya ng papay At uh, uwi na tayo So Salamat Kung nagustuhan niyo yung video na to Please like and subscribe Kasi na magkakaroon ng tukang tukang Puro mga vintage Masak yan Roadrunner Ayan, may mga vintage star dito May show Ayan ho, kung Nag-iisip kayo kung natura ng Ford nung mga 1904 dati Ayan, na Ford oh. Sorry, ito pa May mga kapala rito may uh, vintage car show Impala Ayan kasihan to Impala din mm -hmm. Di ba ako sa'yo? <laughs> Ayan ito Gusto mo lang yung kalay Oh ito pa ito Parang pag-uhus Ang dami nyo Mas gusto ko yung isaw
naglapitin na. <laughs>